Senator Corker and I have come to the floor to introduce a, res a resolution honoring the life and achievements of Pat Summitt, the uh, former University of Tennessee basketball coach who died this week, who, who coached for 38 years and became the winningest uh, basketball coach, uh, man or woman in Division I history, or w winning this coach in Divis D Division I history. I had the privilege of going to the uh, White House with, with Coach Summit in 1989, in April. I was president of the University of Tennessee at the time, and, I was, and, and she had just won the national championship. President Bush, the first President Bush, uh, recited the usual statistics about Pat Summit's remarkable coaching career. The president said in 13 years, she brought Tennessee to the final four 10 times. This was in 1989, long time before she retired. Uh, winning it twice. Uh, later on, we're going down to the fountain to see if she literally can walk on water. That was what President Bush said of Pat Summit. And so when it came time for Coach Summit to speak, this is what she said, the winningest basketball coach in our country's Division I history. She said, Mr. President, we're honored and delighted to be here. I was extremely proud of our academic success. We have won two national championships in the last three years. But, Pat Summit said, the most important statistic for our team and our program is 100% graduation rate of which we will hold our heads very proudly. Pat Summit did everything by the book and she made sure her players did as well. She had some of the most remarkable athletes in any program in the country. One of those was Candace Parker, still playing in professional basketball. Candace, if I remember this right, uh, there was a game finally when she got to play near her hometown in a Midwestern city. And so the whole town turned out, all of her friends, all of her family, everybody had come to see a, a, a young woman who was then the most celebrated women's bas basketball player in the country. But Candace Parker had missed a curfew uh, the night before by for a few minutes, and so Pat Summit sat her on the bench while her family, her friends, and everybody who'd come to see her played. Everyone understood that that's how Pat Summit did things. She began her career when she was 22. She was paid $250 a month for that. She was a graduate student at the University of Tennessee, and for many, women's basketball consisted still of three women on one end of the court, three on the other. The national, the NCAA didn't even sponsor a, a, a national championship a game at, a, a, at that time. But Pat invented really many aspects of the women's college game. And what she didn't invent, she taught to the rest of us. It will be hard for people outside Tennessee to appreciate uh, how much she became a part of us. She literally taught us the game. Uh, she was so upfront and personal about it all. She introduced her, us to her players. She told us about their great abilities and successes. She told us about their failures and when they weren't living up to their potential. She invited us to go into her locker room at halftime and listen to her fiery halftime speeches. Uh, she made time for every single person who touched her. There are countless stories about that but the best wanted to play for Pat Summit because she was the best. Tamika Catchings, still playing, retiring this year, one of the great players in women's college basketball, was the national player of the year in the country. She was in high school when Tennessee already had the best team and the best player, but Tamika wanted to go to Tennessee to play for Pat Summit, to play with, 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 with uh, Tamika with, with Holskaw because she wanted to be a part of the best team. Uh, Tennesseans are very, very proud of Pat Summit. Uh, we know that when uh, the nation saw her, uh, they might think a little better of us because she was one of us. Uh, she was a great friend, not just a friend of mine and our family, but of, of thousands of Tennesseans. Uh, we honor her life. Uh, we honor uh, that she lived that life by the book that she taught so many young women how to live their life by the book, that she brought out the best in so many of them and inspired the rest of us to maybe think a little bigger for ourselves as well. When four years ago at a young age, uh, about 60, 59 years of age, suddenly she uh, had uh, Alzheimer's uh, uh, disease, uh, she confronted that just as well. 
and she set an example for the rest of us fighting for that. So for Pat Summit, um, this is a day to honor a, a, a woman of style, a woman of substance, a farm girl who grew up to be the winningest college coach in the country and who by her example and by her life brought out the best in her players and set an example for the rest of us. So I join Senator Corker in offering this resolution, which the Senate will uh, adopt later this evening. Senator from Tennessee. Uh, I'm so glad to join the senior senator from our state who's set such an example here in the Senate in, uh, in recognizing and honoring uh, Pat Summit. Uh, basketball's lost a legend, as I'm sure he said. Tennessee has lost one of its own beloved daughters. There's perhaps no one left who left with a, a more indelible mark on his or her profession than Pat. In her 38 years as head coach of the University of Tennessee, Lady Volunteers, she amassed a historic record of achievement and blazed a trail for women across our country. A farm girl from Henrietta, Tennessee, Pat attended the University of Tennessee and Martin, earning a bachelor's degree and leading the women's basketball team to two national championship tournaments. Shortly after graduating, she accepted a position at the University of Tennessee in Knoxville as a head coach of the women's basketball team at 22 years old. The rest, they say, is history. In those early years, Pat washed jerseys, drove the team van, and was paid, as Lamar just mentioned, $250 a month. 38 years later, she walked off the hardwood as the winningest NCAA Division I basketball coach in history with 1,096 victories, eight national championships, 32 combined Southeastern Conference titles, and zero, zero losing seasons. But if you ask Pat, there's only one number that she would point to, 161. 161 Lady Vols who had the honor of wearing the orange and white over the span of her career. As she once wrote, I won 1,098 games and eight national championships and coached in four different decades. But what I see, what I see are not the numbers, I see their faces. And her influence on their lives was felt as much off the court as it was on it. Every player who, com who completed Every pay, player who completed her eligibility at the University of Tennessee under Pat Summit graduated. That's remarkable. Every single player in 38 years. Think about that. The impact she had on her players, the University of Tennessee, the Knoxville community, and the game of basketball will be felt for years to come. In closing, as we look back on Pat's life, I will echo the words of my friend and former Tennessee football coach, Philip Fulmer, who said Coach Summit did not want a pity party. She said, if you're going to have one, I'm not coming. So today, I join all Tennesseans in celebrating, celebrating her life, celebrating the victories, the titles, and the relationships, celebrating a life well-lived and fight in a fight hard fought. I extend my thoughts and prayers to her son, Tyler, the Lady Ball family, and all those who were touched by her truly remarkable life. Mr. President, thank you and I yield the floor.